Now my room does have a little um, box that comes out of here, out of the wall. If you uh, have the PowerPoint up still, you'll see the photograph of my office. You'll see this little bit that sticks out. So I want to get mine as accurate as possible. So that is what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to go over um, to the tools down the left hand side and there's one here called Tape Measure Tool. Um, so you go out and select that. Now what this does is going to put a little mark like I might do with a pencil if I was measuring something at a decide, like a, any point I want. So I can move this along and take ages and try and get it perfect or I can just click once. I've now let go of the mouse but I've just clicked once and then I'm going to use the box down here to put in the measurements. So I know that that is 200 centimetres which is 2,000 millimetres and it's going to make a little mark there. So you might be able to see there's just a little tiny mark there now. So it's telling me that's where that is. And I then know from that point I go along and that goes along by 40 centimetres. So I need to add another zero to make it 400 and click enter. So I've then got that little part there and then I know that it comes out as well. So now what I can do is I can get my pencil tool. In fact, no, let's use the rectangle tool because that will make life a little bit easier. And I now know that I've got those two points exactly where I want them. So I can then use this as my guide. So I can then go out from that point and I know that it goes out by a certain way. So I can then type those numbers in. So it's 400 comma 2 100 so it just sticks out like that and now I've got that little part there and then what I can do is use the eraser tool to delete those little bits oh what's going on there crikey I'm inside the guy's shirt um, and there we've got that little bit that sticks out 